Hello, Webster County Schools students and parents. Today in our final Google Classroom video, we're going to be looking at grading, graded assignments, grades, and resubmitting your work. So uh, in a few minutes, we're going to open up Google Classroom and get started. Okay, we're in our Google Class now. Google Classroom, and um, when you open it, it automatically goes to the stream. So we want to click the Classwork tab. This will be the tab we're working with today. And uh, when you click on this tab, you will see um, the assignment list. And you'll see the assignments that you uh, have been assigned. And you will notice here that some of them are grayed out. Okay, these are assignments that have been completed and turned in, and the ones that are still the orange color or whatever color your uh, teacher has assigned to their classroom, uh, they will show up as, as colored in. Those are still outstanding assignments. Now, one easy way to look at all your work from this page right here is to go simply up here to view your work, and then it pulls up this window here, <clears throat> excuse me, that lists the assignments. Um, it shows you when they were due, and it also shows you if they have been graded. Okay, that is under the all. You can filter these down to just the ones that are assigned, and then the ones that have been returned, and the missing ones, should you have any missing ones. So that is just a quick way to access some of those assignments, but let's go ahead and take a more in-depth look into the assignment. So we're going to go to sample assignment one here and click in it, and we're going to view the assignment. Okay, now this looks familiar because we looked at it in another video, but there are some additional things on this screen. First of all, the score that the student receives shows up right here in this area. And then over here next to your work, we also see graded. And then you'll notice here that um, the button now that was turn in or unsubmit is now resubmit. If your teacher has opened up the option for you to be able to resubmit something, this will be active. So if I did something that if I wanted to improve my grade on this assignment or I did something that was was incorrect, then I could simply open this assignment back up, make my changes, and then hit the resubmit. Okay, so let's just go ahead and open this back up. Okay, you'll notice now that I have this turn in option up here again, so I can make my revisions. And sometimes teachers will include comments on things that, specific comments on things that students need to do or that they could do to improve their grade. And so you may see those um, over to the side of this document in this area, but um, you can take those suggestions and then you can revise those and then you can hit turn in again. Okay, again, it prompts you just to make sure that you are turning in the correct assignment. And then now you notice that that resubmit now changes to an unsubmit, meaning that the student has resubmitted it. Okay, so let's return back to the sample class work page. And let's look at sample assignment three. And we'll view the assignment. Again. Here's the score. Here's the work. Indicates that it's been graded. I have the resubmit. But there's one thing different here. I have a comment. My teacher has made a comment to me about some things that I need to do if I choose to resubmit this assignment. And so that just helps the student kind of know what they need maybe to go in and fix or redo before resubmitting. Before we leave, another quick quick tab, view your work. You can see those assignments listed there. You can click on them and enter the assignment from there. 
So that's just a good place to go as a student or a parent if you're wanting to make sure that you have turned in all of your work and then to see what has been graded or perhaps what is still missing. Thanks for joining WC Tech Department as we've gone over Google Classroom. Should you have any other issues, feel free to contact the teacher or our tech department. Have a great day.